Skyworld 101, um, or you, you can just call me Sean, it's my name. Uh, so, uh, I've been requested to, um, make a GIF tutorial, uh, and so I'm gonna be using Photoshop, um, and I guess this can serve as a how to make GIFs in Photoshop sort of video. Um, I have Photoshop CS3 extended, um, so it's not as up to date as Photoshop CS6, but it as far as, as, you know, I've been able to tell, it works the same. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so you want to pull up Photoshop. Uh, once you have that up, uh, you want to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. Um, now, if you haven't seen my other video, um, which I actually haven't made yet, uh, you want to convert uh, a video into either a MOV file or um, a GIF. Uh, for Photoshop, if you want to add it to, if you want to add the video to layers, it has to be in a MOV file. Um, so you need some sort of like converter software uh, to help you get it into that format. Uh, where's the video that I wanted to use? Right here. Alright, so, get your video, uh, select from beginning to end, make animation, okay, so it's gonna take some time to add that, ooh, alright. Again, I'm gonna apologize, uh, my computer is super slow, if you have a, uh, a less, I don't know, a, a newer computer it is not going to take you this long, um, so just bear with me. Um, also, if you don't own Photoshop, I know a lot of my followers on Tumblr don't own uh, Photoshop. Uh, if you're still in school, uh, I know a lot of, uh, and even in college, even a lot of uh, teachers or, or classes have this software available. Uh, because they offer visual communications classes, so if you get, like, um, permission from the team, run through. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Here it is. Um, it's gonna take forever to load this. But once it loads, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this now. Uh, one of the problems that Photoshop has when it's having these uh, videos uploaded and in is that it duplicates the frames. So, um, for instance, in this GIF, it looks like some of these are the same. Uh, all the frames are in place and uh, good to go. Right, so we're going to skip ahead and get to a part where we like. Gotta speed this up a bit. Alright. Here we go. Let's delete that. So to delete these, uh, I don't know if you guys know this trick, I'm sure you do, um, but you can, uh, to select a large amount of uh, these frames, uh, you can shift click and it should select uh, a starting point and uh, wherever you let go. So, um, this is a, uh, a video from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess uh, title screen. Um, I'm a Zelda blog on Tumblr, so explains why. Um, Alright, so there we go. This will be good. Uh, you typically want to... I limit mine to about 20 frames because, like I said, you have to go through and uh, take out all the ones that are junky. Uh, but first, what you want to do... This is one of the annoying things of uh, Photoshop is that... Uh, this isn't synchronized. Whatever I do to this, I have to do again on this side. So you want to look for this eye thing, which will tell you which frame you're on. So, um, right here. This eye, sorry. Yeah. There we 
There we go. Okay. Awesome. That high. Cool. I'm going to zoom back out. Okay. So, um, now that we know that that's where our GIF starts, I'm going to click this, scroll down, shift click, and delete. Uh, try to find the top, click on the last frame, go up, and delete. Cool. Now we got to go through and see if these repeat. They might not. If they don't, that's cool. We're going to have to shorten this file anyway. Uh, Tumblr only allows um, GIFs that are under 10 megabytes. So it's important that you do that. Uh, so one of the tricks that I use uh, is you can delete every other frame. Uh, that'll make it smaller. Uh, and not as noticeable as long as you uh, slow down the frame rate, which I'll show you how to do. So again, we got to get this side too. So how I'm doing this is I'm, if you're on Mac, it's a uh, command. You hold down command and it allows you to select uh, all of these. Or if it's a... Uh, another PC, then you gotta use the control. Alright, so now we've shortened this down to 10 frames. Uh, what we want to do is hit the uh, frame rate. So shift click, uh, make sure that you got all of them, go to other. Once you, again, I, I clicked uh, down here. To uh, making the image smaller. So Tumblr only allows a width of 500, so this is super big, uh, so we got to shrink that down. And what's nice about Photoshop is it automatically resizes it to be proportional. So that's always beautiful. Cool. Uh, I'm going to stop this now and make another recording uh, of how to edit it. Uh, so go to that one as well. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll somehow put a link to that video in the description. Awesome. Thank you, guys.